Hello everyone, in this video I will describe and configure VLAN on HP Switch and assign VLANs to port as an access and trunk. In HP Networking Switch, tagged and untagged are terms commonly used to describe how VLAN are handled on Switch port. Tagged ports are used to carry traffic for multiple VLANs simultaneously. These ports are typically used to interconnect switch or to connect devices that need to communicate with multiple VLAN. Tagged ports are also known as a trunk port in Cisco networking terminology. Untagged ports are used to connect end-user devices such as computers, printers or IP phones to the network. Each untagged port is associated with a specific VLAN. Untagged port are also known as access port in Cisco networking terminology. In summary, tagged ports are used for inter-switch connecting or connections to devices that need to access to multiple VLANs, while untagged ports are used for connecting end user device to the specific VLAN. As you can see, this is my topology. I have two switches that connecting to each other from port 1. I am connecting to manage switch and doing configuration on it. Another switch already configured. Show VLAN. I have just one default VLAN and this VLAN ID is 1. By using VLAN 20, we can create a VLAN 20 on this switch. By using tagged one command, we can tag VLAN 20 on a port 1 and change port behavior from access to trunk port. Untag 3 to change port 3 behavior as an access and assign port 3 to VLAN 20. My PC connecting to port 3 and after untag 3 command, this port assigned to VLAN 20. And as you can see, we can access to this IP that rides on another switch in VLAN 20. This is my PC MAC address that connecting to port 3. This is MAC address of another PC that connecting to another switch and comes from port 1. You can view VLAN information on the ports by using display interface command. As you can see, on port 1 VLAN 20 tagged and VLAN 1 is untagged. That means when traffic carries from this port, if traffic transit from VLAN 20 Ethernet frame tagged as a VLAN 20, and if traffic transit from VLAN 1, Ethernet frames will not tag. Let's check port 3. As you can see, tagged on this port shows as a none because we changed this port behavior as access port by using untagged command already. If Ethernet frames from VLAN 20 transit from this port, switch remove VLAN header from the frame and if the frame received from this port, VLAN header will add to this frame. Now create another VLAN. VLAN 30. Tagged 1, it caused VLAN 30 frames transit from port 1 to another switch. Untagged 5. It caused port 5 change to access mode and VLAN 30 assigned to this port. Check port 1 VLANs, its trunk and carries VLAN 20 and 30 frames. And also VLAN 1 frames transit without adding any VLAN header to frame. This now as a PVID in networking terminology. Let's check port 5.
I'm changing my laptop IP address and connect Ethernet to port 5. Let me check what's problem. That's okay. This timeout because of Mac table does not contain my laptop Mac address at the first. In some scenario, we don't want some VLANs traffic carries from some specific trunk ports. By using forbidden command, you can do that. As you can see, after forbid VLAN 30 from port 1, my connection to the IP lost because traffic cannot carry from trunk port. Remove 4 bit command. Add VLAN 30 to port 1 again. Check interface 1. Check interface 5. Configuration is fine, but why I cannot ping? Okay, this is related to my switch performance. You can configure tagged or untagged from VLAN configuration or from interface configuration. Change port 5 VLAN from interface configuration to untagged VLAN 20.
Let's check the configuration. Wait some second. I cannot find my laptop MAC address in the MAC table. This is related to switch performance because the switches are my test series. Check port 1. My configuration is fine. Oh, I ping IP from VLAN 30, but I assign port 5 to VLAN 20 and change my IP to VLAN 20 subnet. Because of that, I cannot ping, sorry. Okay, as you can see, everything worked fine. I hope this video was useful for network administrators. Please subscribe to my channel and if this video was useful for you, don't forget to like it. You can ask your questions in the comments, I will respond to them as soon as possible. Have a good day, bye bye.